we have an extraordinary glimpse into the devastating tornado that struck Newcastle and Moore. The officer recorded this gripping footage, giving us a unique perspective on the monstrous storm. Chief Norman's dash cam captures the initial moments of the tornado crossing the highway. The atmosphere around his car seemed surprisingly calm, but little did he know what was about to unfold. Within minutes, the winds intensify and the sense of danger becomes palpable. Chief Norman wisely keeps a safe distance from the tornado, but the storm rapidly gains speed and strength, transforming into an EF-5 tornado that causes devastating damage. Witness this extraordinary and terrifying incident, captured by the in-car camera of a Stafford Township police vehicle. The video starts innocently enough, showing Oak Avenue in a state of calm. Little did anyone know that a catastrophic event was about to unfold. Suddenly, chaos erupts as the house explodes into pieces, sending shockwaves through the neighborhood. The force of the blast left seven utility workers injured, two of them in critical condition. The house, empty and undergoing renovation, is completely demolished. The debris field spreads over a one-quarter mile area, and neighboring homes sustain significant damage. Here is the astonishing dashcam footage of a high-speed chase through the streets of North Manchester. Band driver Hora Koshnal takes the spotlight in this heart-pounding pursuit. Koshnal, behind the wheel of a stolen Audi, leads police on a daring chase. The officers in their BMW X5 struggle to keep up with his breakneck speed and reckless maneuvers. His need for speed takes center stage as he defies speed limits, reaching over 70 miles per hour on roads meant for a fraction of that. It's a wild ride that keeps everyone on their toes. When you think it can't get any crazier, Koshnor's reckless escapade takes a shocking turn. He collides with a tree and a set of railings, causing severe damage to the stolen Audi. Surprisingly, Koshnor emerges from the wreckage without a scratch. In Ferndale, Michigan, a woman seizes an opportunity and takes off in an unoccupied police car. What follows is an adrenaline-fueled chase captured on the dash cam video. The dash cam footage reveals the heart-pounding pursuit as Hawkins speeds through the streets, reaching up to 100 miles per hour. She fearlessly maneuvers through traffic, even going against the traffic flow at times, narrowly avoiding collisions with other vehicles. The chase reaches a catastrophic conclusion when Hawkins collides with another vehicle at 83 miles per hour. Miraculously, neither Hawkins nor the other driver suffered serious injuries. In Woonsocket, South Dakota, the dashboard cameras of two police cars capture a breathtaking spectacle as they navigate through a powerful storm. Making a routine left turn, they reveal a massive tornado stretching across the sky. As the patrol cars drive along Highway 37, the sirens blare and the officers slow down to witness the tornado's immense power. The video captures the tornado's slow movement across the landscape. Within minutes, the once ferocious and fearsome tornado starts to dissipate. Its strength diminishes, transforming into delicate wisps of clouds. A trooper spots a car traveling at a high rate of speed on Interstate 55, clocking it at 90 miles per hour in a 75 miles per hour zone. The 
suspect continues to evade the trooper, but loses control of their vehicle on Highway 158. Trooper Middlecoff performs a successful pit maneuver, briefly sending the suspect's car off the road. The chase intensifies as the suspect navigates through fields, even catching a little air while trying to escape. However, after hitting a dividing island, the suspect loses control once again. Realizing their escape is futile, the suspect surrenders, ending the adrenaline fueled pursuit. We have dashcam footage from a South Carolina Highway Patrol Troopers cruiser, providing a first-hand view of a high-speed pursuit that ultimately concluded in a devastating outcome. The dashcam footage captures when a trooper identifies a black sedan as stolen and initiates a pursuit on Highway 17A. The sort vehicle eventually exits the highway and continues onto a side road. 1050, 1050, vehicle just crashed. We're at uh, right before, right before uh, US 176. It's bad. Show me your hands! Approximately five minutes into the chase, the pursued driver attempts to overtake a truck, but loses control, crashing into a pair of trees on Cooper Store Road. The trooper approaches the scene cautiously, weapon drawn, and requests the driver to show his hands, but there is no response. Next, we have the dashcam footage that documents the tragic sequence of events that unfolded mere minutes after a sheriff's deputy initiated a routine traffic stop. The blue passenger car, we're still moving. There's a tag on it. I see a porch growing a lot with me here. This dashcam footage captures the moment when a police officer spots a speeding vehicle and promptly initiates a routine traffic stop. The situation takes an unexpected turn as the driver pulls into a shopping center parking lot and momentarily exits her vehicle. Despite the officer's repeated commands to return to her car, the driver displays defiance and refuses to comply. Tensions rise as she re-enters her vehicle and abruptly drives away, leaving the officer in pursuit. Clear out, out, dispatch rescue. She's in two, uh, four. 105 is in 16 County, I've got nobody in the car, we're checking. Just two minutes into the pursuit, the officer arrives at the scene of a horrific crash involving the suspect's heavily damaged car. Tragically, the impact was severe, leading to the ejection of the driver, who was pronounced dead at the scene. The footage serves as a stark reminder of the dangers and consequences that can arise from high-speed pursuits. Get ready for an adrenaline fueled ride as we dive into the dashcam footage of an electrifying police pursuit in the early hours of Sunday morning. While patrolling the Red Roof Inn parking lot, officers spotted a Chevy Impala with dark tinted windows. To their astonishment, they found a man seemingly asleep in the driver's seat. As the officers approached the vehicle, they saw a rifle on the rear floorboard. They woke the driver, who attempted to conceal a plastic baggie containing a suspicious white substance. In a dangerous turn of events, the driver reversed the car, putting the officers' lives at risk by trying to run them over. The driver fled the scene, leading officers on a wild police chase through the streets of North Charleston. The chase involved high speeds and hair-raising near crashes as the suspect attempted to evade capture. After a tireless pursuit, officers detained the suspect when he became tired. On April 15th, a man wanted in connection with a prior shooting sparked a gripping pursuit with the Michigan State Police 5th District Fugitive Team. The gripping dashcam footage takes us on a thrilling journey through residential neighborhoods and the bustling streets of downtown Kalamazoo. The suspect, driving in the wrong direction on Michigan Avenue, leaves a trail of adrenaline and danger in his wake. Undeterred by the risks, the dedicated law enforcement officers chase the suspect relentlessly, their relentless commitment to public safety driving them forward The 
pursuit reached its climax at the intersection of West Kalamazoo Avenue and North Park Street, where Thrasher's vehicle ultimately crashed. Determined to evade capture, Thrasher decided to flee on foot. However, the swift response of the police officers ensured his immediate apprehension, bringing an end to the high-stakes chase. On September 9, 2022, a trooper in Scott, Arkansas, encountered a stolen vehicle while on speed overtime duty. Let's jump into the details. The trooper initiated a pursuit as the stolen SUV turned onto Colonel Maynard Road. Despite the trooper's emergency lights and siren, the suspect failed to yield and continued driving. A pit maneuver was executed on Craig Road, causing the suspect's vehicle to spin and collide with the trooper's patrol unit. The pursuit took an unexpected turn when the driver abruptly abandoned the vehicle and disappeared into the nearby woods. Concerned for the well-being of a reported baby in the rear-facing car seat, the trooper swiftly approached Miss Jones and her son to ensure their safety. Fortunately, the mother and child emerged from the incident unharmed, bringing much-needed relief amidst the intense circumstances. While driving back to headquarters, Sergeant Scott found himself facing a severe thunderstorm with an approaching tornado. Aware of the imminent danger, he knew he had to act swiftly to ensure his safety. The tornado warning is still in effect. Let's go back to the storm tracker and we have David Payne here on the camera. Let's go back to David. David, what do you got? All right, Mike, go ahead and Highway 9. Uh, Caught during a torrential downpour and battling against strong winds, Sergeant Scott made the difficult decision to pull over and wait for the storm to subside. The dashcam footage vividly captures the intensifying rain and rapidly decreasing visibility, illustrating law enforcement officers' challenging conditions in the line of duty. In a remarkable display of bravery and dedication, Sergeant Scott remained composed as a tornado ominously approached his parked car. The gripping dashcam footage captured the intense moment when the swirling debris and dark storm clouds passed perilously close to his vehicle. Sergeant Scott's calmness and unyielding commitment to his duty are truly commendable. In the early morning of April 11th, a dashcam video recorded a vehicle racing through the streets of 22nd and Bancroft, reaching alarmingly high speeds. The footage reveals the driver's reckless behavior as they put themselves and others at great risk. As the officer activated their overhead lights and siren, signaling the driver of the Camaro to stop, the situation took a dangerous turn. Rather than complying with the officer's instructions, the driver chose to accelerate and made a daring maneuver. Defying the officer's orders, the chase intensified, putting both the fleeing driver and others on the road in grave danger. Seventeen vehicle crash. It's going to be a, a PI accident. Roll over. The dashcam footage captured a harrowing incident as the Camaro flagrantly ran a red light at the 24th Street and Dove Street intersection. The collision between the Camaro and a pickup truck resulted in minimal damage to the truck. However, the true devastation occurred when the Camaro collided with the vehicle driven by a 48-year-old woman and a third vehicle at the intersection. The impact of the crash was severe, leaving a trail of destruction and underscoring the grave consequences of reckless driving. A robbery occurred in North Toledo, where a woman was allegedly held at gunpoint. Toledo police responded and quickly obtained a description of the suspect's vehicle. As the pursuit unfolded, the suspect's reckless behavior put themselves and others in grave danger. The suspect initiated a pit maneuver on their vehicle, causing it to spin out. Astonishingly, the suspect quickly got back on the road, continuing the erratic escape. In a jarring turn of events, 
the suspect's desperate attempts to evade capture came to a halt near the intersection of Summit and Suda. Law enforcement officers exhibited exceptional determination as they swiftly closed in on the suspects, who ultimately abandoned their vehicle and attempted to flee on foot. The suspects were apprehended with their escape route cut off, ending their reckless run from the law. The tireless efforts of the officers ensured that justice prevailed and the community remained safe. A vigilant semi-truck driver reported an erratic white pickup truck driven by Gino Miller, 27. Miller displayed dangerous driving, changing lanes and even driving on the shoulder. With determined resolve, deputies formed a perimeter around Miller's truck, embarking on a relentless pursuit that spanned miles. Their tenacious pursuit extended into Berrien County, where they employed spike strips in multiple attempts to halt the suspect's vehicle. The high-stakes chase intensified as law enforcement utilized every tactic to bring the situation to a safe resolution, undeterred by the risks involved. We usually get all four corners, you can probably do a little roadblock. In a dramatic conclusion, Miller's truck was stopped and law enforcement swiftly apprehended him. The intensity of the chase was further heightened when, during the arrest, a bag of fentanyl fell from Miller's vehicle. This unforeseen twist led to the discovery of illicit drugs, intensifying the gravity of the situation even further. Here is a police chase in Newark, Ohio. A police officer noticed a suspect driving recklessly, prompting the officer to initiate a pursuit. What followed? was a jaw-dropping 35-minute chase through winding country roads, gravel paths, and dirt tracks. In this gripping dash cam footage, the suspect behind the wheel of a front-wheel drive Buick showcases a jaw-dropping skill, effortlessly maneuvering through sharp corners marked with a mere 25 miles per hour speed limit at mind-boggling speeds exceeding 80 miles per hour. Even in a powerful police interceptor, the pursuing officer finds it difficult to keep up with the suspect's evasive tactics and lightning-fast reflexes. The officer's superb focus and composure allowed them to navigate the challenging country roads, including gravel and dirt, while keeping the suspect in sight. The tension rises as the chase reaches its climax. The dash cam captures the heart-stopping moment when the suspect's luck finally runs out. With a bone-chilling crash, the suspect's car meets its demise, abruptly ending the high-stakes chase. Here is a police chase in Sterling Heights that was caught on a dash cam and will keep you on the edge of your seat as officers race through the streets, navigating sharp turns and narrow alleys in hot pursuit of the suspect. In Sterling Heights, law enforcement officers responded to reports of a suspect exhibiting reckless driving behavior. The dash cam footage from one of the police cruisers offers a glimpse into their challenging circumstances, a dimly lit and rain-soaked road, making their pursuit even more treacherous. In a surprising turn of events, the suspect abruptly abandons their vehicle and continues their escape on foot. You go, go, go! Despite the suspect's attempt to outrun the officers, their determination pays off. The dash cam captures the intense pursuit coming to an end as the suspect is finally apprehended. The relentless efforts of the officers ultimately led to the successful capture of the suspect, ensuring the community's safety and bringing a sense of relief to all involved. Now, we shift our attention to a gripping police pursuit led by the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. What initially began as a high-stakes chase quickly spiraled into a tragic sequence of events. The pursuit began when Lieutenant Ed Schillig of the Franklin County Sheriff's Office spotted a Chevy sedan speeding at 74 miles per hour in a 60 miles per hour zone. 
He immediately activated his lights and sirens, but the stolen car refused to stop. The situation escalated quickly as speeds reached over 100 miles per hour. During the intense pursuit captured on the cruiser camera, a heartbreaking incident occurred involving an innocent pedestrian named Arthur Smith. The camera footage reveals the harrowing moment when the stolen car collided with Smith, launching him into the air before he crashed onto the pavement. The immediate reaction of the police officers on the scene mirrored the shock and despair felt by everyone present. It was a heartbreaking reminder of the human toll that high-speed pursuits can inflict. Here is an action-packed video, a Greenfield police chase that unfolded in Wisconsin. In this video, we'll take you through the adrenaline-filled events that transpired, leading to a mind-boggling climax. In the early hours of a Tuesday morning, law enforcement officers in Greenfield, Wisconsin, found themselves thrust into an extraordinary high-speed pursuit. What originally started as reports of suspicious activity and a simple traffic violation rapidly escalated into a gripping chain of events. It was evident from the outset that this chase would be far from ordinary, gripping the attention of both officers and onlookers alike. The heart-pounding high-speed chase finally ended in a horrifying crash near the intersection of 60th and Lincoln in West Allis at around 2.45 a.m. The force of the impact brought the pursuit to an immediate halt, leaving no room for escape for the two men inside the fleeing vehicle. The apprehension of the suspects marked the conclusion of a thrilling chase that had kept law enforcement and bystanders on the edge of their seats. Next is an intense police chase that ended in the arrest of a man connected to a carjacking and murder. Let's dive into the details. I gotta go through the grass over here by the apartments. I gotta block the bailing. Show me your hands! Don't Anthony Butler Jr., the suspect in question, took law enforcement officers on a heart-pounding ride across multiple cities. The pursuit was filled with high-speed thrills and dangerous maneuvers. However, the adrenaline-fueled chase came to a crashing halt when Butler Jr. lost control and ploughed Shane Bartek's car into a fence at an apartment complex in Euclid. The terrifying climax left onlookers in awe and brought an end to a chase that had captivated the attention of many. Hey, what's your name? I can't do nothing, man. Hey. No. No. Coming up over here, we're not going to secure the area. With their adrenaline pumping and guns drawn, the brave officers cautiously approached the suspect's vehicle, ready to take control of the situation. The suspect's reckless attempt to escape had led to serious charges, including fleeing, receiving stolen property, and a bunch of other traffic-related offences. It's a classic case of thinking you can outsmart the law. That's about as futile as trying to outrun your shadow. Trying to evade the law? Good luck with that. It's a losing battle from the start. As the remnants of Hurricane Nate made their way up north, things got pretty scary. The skies turned dark and ominous, and the winds started howling like crazy. No, but it's definitely on the ground. I got some video of it. Yeah, it's on the ground. Firewood drive behind Rooster The sky grew ominously dark, painting a scene of imminent danger. As the clouds swirled and thickened, it was a sight that sent shivers down the spine, a possible tornado forming right before our eyes. Nature seemed to sense the impending storm as birds darted through the air, seeking shelter from the approaching chaos. Their frenzied flight added to the tension and urgency of the moment. Out of nowhere, the skies opened up and rain started pouring like there was no tomorrow. It went from being a little gloomy to downright terrifying in a matter of seconds. The rain was coming down in sheets, making it nearly impossible to see more than a few feet ahead. The police officers quickly realized the potential danger and didn't waste a second and swiftly drove away, prioritizing the safety of themselves and others. Here is thrilling dashcam footage to share with you. A high-speed police chase along State HWY 8 in Warren, Arkansas, captured by Arkansas State Troopers. Go, 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 go. 
During the unfolding chase, the suspect demonstrates reckless behavior, persistently trying to escape capture despite law enforcement closing in. In a decisive move, Arkansas State Troopers utilized the pit maneuver, causing the suspect's car to lose control and bringing the pursuit closer to an end. The suspect's vehicle is swiftly encircled by a group of determined police officers who form a tight perimeter with their weapons at the ready. Faced with the overwhelming presence of law enforcement, the suspect reluctantly accepts the reality that his flashy getaway vehicle is no match for the long arm of the law. With the situation under control, officers cautiously approach the suspect's car, forcefully extracting him through the window and swiftly bringing him into custody. It is a decisive moment where law enforcement's unwavering commitment to public safety prevails, ensuring that justice is served. In our next video, we delve into a heartbreaking incident that occurred during a high-speed police chase in Sheridan, Arkansas. It all began innocently enough with a routine traffic stop initiated by an officer from the Sheridan Police Department. However, the situation turned unexpectedly when the driver refused to comply with the officer's instructions. Little did anyone know, this would set the stage for an intense and captivating pursuit. Recognizing the threat posed by the suspect, the officer decided to utilize intentional intervention tactics to stop the ongoing chase. Sadly, the pursuit ended in tragedy as the suspect swerved into the officer's lane, leading to a loss of control and a devastating crash into a roadside ditch. The outcome was heart-wrenching, underscoring the grave risks of high-speed chases and the potential harm they can cause to innocent lives. Here is the electrifying footage of a daring bank robber on the run, followed by a heart-racing police chase in Macomb County. The video begins with a van parked on the side of the road, surrounded by police officers. The authorities had cornered the suspect and demanded that he exit the vehicle. But the suspect refused to comply and instead accelerated away, setting off a dramatic chase. As the chase unfolded, the police utilized various tactics to apprehend the suspect. Eventually, they employed the pit maneuver. The pursuing officers executed the maneuver with expert precision, causing the suspect's van to swerve and struggle for control. The suspect's vehicle was cornered. It seemed like the chase had reached its climax. Just when the situation seemed to end, an unforeseen turn of events unfolded, taking everyone by surprise. The driver abandoned the van and took off, prompting an intense foot chase. The police officers were hot on his trail, determined not to let him escape. Our video begins in the Hilliard area, where police initiated a pursuit. The tractor-trailer driver refused to pull over, setting off a high-stakes chase that unfolded on the busy freeways of I-270. He is conscious, he just cracked it. The Numerous reports flooded the dispatch center, with concerned citizens describing the driver's erratic behavior and witnessing the truck dangerously swerving across the freeway. In a quick response, Hilliard police sprang into action, recognizing the urgency to regain control of the situation. With determination and a commitment to public safety, they initiated the pursuit, determined to apprehend the driver and mitigate any potential harm caused by their reckless actions. The pursuit grew increasingly intense as the truck sped along I-270, pushing towards the junction with I-70 in East Columbus. After a relentless chase, the truck finally came to a temporary halt near East Main Street. To the authorities' surprise, the truck's cargo turned out to be syrup. The driver's motives behind the erratic behavior remain unclear, 
But one thing is certain, they committed multiple traffic violations throughout the pursuit. Our next video takes us to Minneapolis, where a routine morning became chaotic as a reckless driver attempted to escape law enforcement. The events unfolded on Highway 100 in Robbinsdale, where the driver's actions caught the attention of the vigilant police. As the pursuit began, tensions escalated rapidly, culminating in a tragic crash near the intersection of 42nd Avenue North and Regents Avenue. The impact of the collision left a lasting mark on the scene, leaving behind a trail of destruction and heartache. In a harrowing turn of events, the fleeing driver violently collided with a school bus from behind, carrying 22 innocent children. The impact of the crash was devastating, leaving a trail of chaos and heartache in its wake. Emergency crews swiftly arrived at the scene, responding to the distress calls and attending to the injured. The aftermath of the collision was truly heart-wrenching, with seven children on the school bus reporting injuries. Our next footage takes place in Auburn Hills, Michigan, where a routine patrol turned into a high-stakes chase. Is that beer? Yeah. Let me see your driver license. Why are you drinking beer? Oh, I'm Shut up. On an intense day on June 12th, a vigilant sergeant stumbled upon a white Chevrolet S10 parked at a construction site well past operating hours. Sensing trouble, he quickly sprang into action initiating an exhilarating pursuit of Crosley, the person suspected to be involved in the incident. The chase intensified as they raced down Bald Mountain Road, careening through the streets and putting the lives of innocent bystanders at grave risk. The stakes were high, and the pursuit unfolded with heart-pounding intensity. Prioritizing the community's safety, the sergeant chose to terminate the chase. But the story didn't end there for Victor Crosley. A twist emerged when it was discovered that the license plate on his truck had been reported stolen in another city, deepening the mystery surrounding this incident. A woman in distress locked herself in a bathroom at a Texaco gas station after being kidnapped and assaulted. She called 911, prompting a swift response from Marietta Police. The chase escalated quickly as it transitioned onto southbound Cobb Parkway and continued westbound on South Cobb Drive. The situation took a dangerous turn as Head showed a complete disregard for public safety, accelerating to high speeds and making reckless maneuvers in an apparent effort to ram the van into police cruisers. The intensity of the pursuit posed a grave threat to law enforcement and innocent bystanders. The pursuit came to a crashing halt on South Cobb Drive between Fairground Street and Atlanta Road. Head swerved the stolen van into another civilian vehicle, resulting in a serious auto accident. Head and the other driver were transported to Wellstar Kennestone Hospital for medical attention. Next, we bring you an extremely tragic story that underscores the devastating consequences that can arise from a police pursuit. The pursuit began in Troy and extended north towards Huber Heights. As officers followed the suspect, 19-year-old Jalen Alexander, they discovered he had outstanding warrants, including charges of felonious assault and child endangerment. This raised concerns about the safety of the community. The chase ended in a heartbreaking tragedy, claiming two individuals' lives and leaving two others injured. Officers quickly arrived at the scene to assess the situation. Despite the swift response of emergency personnel, their injuries proved too severe. Here is an incredibly intense video that involves a high-speed pursuit, near misses, and a successful arrest. Oh. 
It all began when a Michigan State police trooper witnessed an RV running a red light at the intersection of M46 and M91. The trooper strategically deployed spike strips near M82 and Amy School, hoping to deflate the RV's tires and slow it down. However, the situation took a dangerous turn when the RV refused to stop. We're coming up to the fire, guys. Heading south on US 131 in the northbound lanes, the RV was amidst traffic congestion caused by an unrelated car fire. Ignoring the risk, the driver attempted to navigate between both lanes of traffic and collided with four civilian-driven vehicles. Looks like County's at 14 mile on the northbound pass. Okay, County's got the freeway shut down at 12 mile. Eventually, the RV exited US 131 on the ramp to 17 mile road, turning east. At this moment, troopers executed a pit maneuver to safely stop the RV and bring this dangerous pursuit to an end. 